Hi, dear children. Good morning. Okay. We studied, already studied daffodils. William Words was daffodils. First stanza, second stanza. Okay. Now, let us study the third stanza of the poem. Okay. Revise. Eh? Let us revise. The poet was wandering alone in the natural landscape. Under the trees, on the bank of the lake, he encountered a large number of golden daffodils. The daffodils were fluttering and dancing in the breeze. The daffodils were continuously stretched in an endless line along the margin of a bay. Ten thousand of daffodils were saying their heads in a way that they appear to dance. Okay, this is the first stanza, second stanza, the third stanza. Let us read the lesson, this poem slowly and understand the meaning. The waves beside them danced, but they outdid the sparkling waves in glee. Glee means joy. A poet could not but a gay, gay, happy in such a jocund company. I gazed and gazed but little thought what wealth the show to me had brought. The waves beside them danced but they outdid the sparkling waves in glee. Along with the daffodils, along with the daffodils, even waves just beside them were sparkling. Along with the daffodils, even the waves just beside them were sparkling. Since the sunshine fell on the water, the waves were sparkling. They were also sparkling with happiness. They were also, uh, they were also sparkling with happiness. But the daffodils performed better than the waves with their happy dance. The waves beside them dance, but they outdid the sparkling waves in glee. Outdid the sparkling waves in glee. Okay, outdid means surpassed. So outdid means surpassed. Glee means a strong feeling of happiness. Okay. Uh, along with the uh, daffodils, even the waves just beside them were sparkling. Since the, you know, since the sunshine fell on the water, okay, uh, the waves were sparkling at that time. Okay, they were also sparkling with happiness. They were also sparkling with happiness. But the daffodils performed better than the waves with their happy dance with their happy dance danced but they outdid the sparkling waves in glee a poet could not but be gay in such a jocund company jocund means a cheerful okay you know a poet highly sensitive, this poet, our words were highly sensitive to beauty and emotion. This is why Wordsworth says that in such cheerful company, in such cheerful company, a poet could not stop himself from, from being happy. It was impossible to be lonely. It was impossible to be lonely. It was impossible to lonely and sad anymore. Lonely and sad anymore. The poet stood there for a long time. Poet stood there for a long time. I gazed and gazed but little thought what wealth the show to me had brought. I gazed and gazed. I gazed and gazed but little thought what will the show to me had brought the poet stood there for a long time poet stood there for a long time gazing gazing or gazing and gazing you know gazing or just looking fixedly just look King fixedly at the daffodils, absorbing the absorbing the beauty and happiness, absorbing the beauty and happiness. At that point, 
he did not realize okay what riches what riches she actually got from the show what riches he actually got from the show what riches he actually got from the show put up by the daffodils what riches he already got or actually got from the show put up by the daffodils okay uh, have you understood stanza 3 then stanza 3 explanation the poet goes on to describing the enchanting beauty, enchanting beauty or enchant, enchanting quality of the daffodils. The poet goes on to describe the enchanting quality of the daffodils. The waves in the nearby lake seem to be dancing. The waves seem to be dancing. Waves in the nearby lake. Waves in the nearby lake seem to be dancing and also sparkling. Dancing and also sparkling due to the sun rays falling on them. Due to the sun rays falling on them. But the beauty of thousand daffodils. But the beauty of thousand daffodils. Oh, thousands of daffodils. Beauty of thousands of daffodils surpass the beauty of sparkling waves surpass the beauty of sparkling waves the poet feels that he could not be anything but happy he could not be anything but happy in such a gleeful company such a gleeful company such a gleeful company the poet further says that all he could do was, all he could do was to stare at the daffodils, stare at the daffodils and the sight before him amazed him, sight before him amazed him. The poet feels that he could not be anything but happy, could not be anything but happy, but happy in such a gleeful company happy in such a gleeful company the poet further says that he could do was to stare at he could do was to stare at the daffodils and the sight before him amazed him sight before him amazed him okay thank you dear have a nice day